After seeing the team take the field for practice, how do you think they look heading into the first weekend of competition? Yeah, well, we just had our first scrimmage last evening uh, at Army, so we have a little bit to, to pull from there. Uh, I, I feel like we had a very good fall, and I feel like we've had a very good preseason. Uh, it's been an interesting one just with the, uh, the weather. It's been brutally cold out there, so you feel like in, in some facets we may be a little bit behind, um, but in other facets I feel like we're ahead of where we've been in years past. Uh, and I like this year's team. I feel like we got a pretty pretty strong makeup, and we feel like for, for the first time really since uh, their arrival back to campus in the fall, we feel like we have a healthy roster, so that has made a very clear difference as well. Are there any major differences between this year's team compared to last year's? Uh, you know, I, I think from a senior influence perspective, I feel like there has. Uh, you know, last year there was only a five-person senior class. This year we have a 12-person senior class. So, so numerically there, uh, you know, I feel like there's, uh, there's just more of a, uh, an, an impact, um, you know, just, just because we have 12 seniors that, that play pretty much every position that we have on the roster right now. And of those 12, probably nine or 10 will be game day contributors. So you feel like they've made a pretty strong uh, uh, influence on, this, on this, this year's team. What would you say the strengths are this season and which areas would you identify as areas of improvement? Yeah, I think our strengths probably probably overall depth. I, I mean, I feel like we have five or six attackmen that can play on game day. We we have probably eight eight middies. Uh, you know, in in, in your, these years past, I feel like we've been a little bit thin in the midfield. So that has been something that we've we've really tried to build, and we feel like we're we're, we're finally at the point where we can go deep to our bench there uh, on on game day. Um, defensively, we may roll four or five guys out there, and then we have a. You know, a, a goaltender who got drafted by the Boston organization uh, professionally, and he's terrific. So we have uh, we have high aspirations all the way around. Uh, and, and again, I really like this year's team. Are there any first year players that fans should watch for? Yeah, I think uh, I think Jake Nosman is a young man who actually went to the same high school as Sam Snow, which is Bainbridge Island, all the way out, uh, you know, kind of off the coast of, of Seattle there. And uh, and right now he's a first line midi for us. He's been awfully impressive since day one. And then, uh, you know, alongside him, you have guys like Nico Penapinto, uh, Dan Delaney, Chris Giorgio, uh, all midfielders there. And then defensively, you know, there's there's one guy, Andrew Eidenschenk, in particular, who uh, who seems to be who seems to be pretty ready. Who do you think will be the sleeper team of the conference this season? Yeah, um, you know, I'm not sure that there's a real sleeper. I mean, I think everybody in our five team conference right now is kind of a known is kind of a known team. Uh, you know, Air Force is is probably the one team that, you know, they're. I, I got to imagine you look at you look at Air Force lacrosse over the last ten years. This is probably the best team that they've had. So we got a ton of respect for them and a ton of respect for you know the fact that we have to travel all the way across the country to play them in Colorado Springs, which is a tall task in itself. Uh, but but the, the the conference as a whole only continues to, to to get better and better, and it'll be unique being in uh, the ECAC for this last final final opportunity. So there's. Uh... Four out of the five teams make uh, the tournament. What will it take to be one of those league's final four? Yeah, I think we'll just need to, to stay the course. It's a little bit unique for us in that we have to travel uh, out to Michigan. We have to travel out to Air Force. We have to travel out to Louisville to play Bellarmine. Uh, you know, we get to play Ohio State here. Uh, but then, you know, hopefully we're one of those four teams. So we would have to travel back out to Ohio State for the conference tournament as that was predetermined. So the, the, the travel makes it a little bit unique, but in terms of what we have to do similarly or differently to what we've done up until this point, I don't think that we have to change too much. I think we just need to you know try to stay healthy and stay the course. Any final thoughts on the team or the ECAC conference as a whole and how they will fare for the 2014 season? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think, uh, I think you look at Ohio State coming off a year where they hosted a first round playoff game and then they advanced to the, uh, to the quarterfinals. Uh, you know, we certainly have a ton of respect for them. You look at their, their kind of Big Ten colleague in Michigan, and those guys have done a great job recruiting, and they're as talented as they come. Uh, you know, Bellarmine, uh, you know, Bellarmine, they, they have a little bit of the Canadian influence. I think they're very well coached, and, you know, I, I kind of mentioned Air Force before. I mean, I think that, uh, that the conference has come a long way. I think uh, despite the realignment that took place last year and us losing Denver, losing Loyola, and losing Hobart, I still feel like the conference has a very strong core uh, group of teams. And, uh, and we are excited to, to, to get going. I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're knee-deep in preseason right now, but, uh, 
but I really like just kind of the blend that we have of upperclassmen and underclassmen. I like the way that we've been competing and I like the way that we've been practicing and uh, and you know you, you understand that it is getting to the meat and potatoes of your season you're going to have to win some close ball games so we're trying to just kind of discover our identity and try to get a little bit of an edge there so we're comfortable in those situations but uh, but we are excited that the season is here.